also new at 6 tonight, a local woman is working to clean up the home of her adoptive mother after she recently died. She said her mom had issues with hoarding. ABC Big 2's Mike Mahoney shows us why she now needs help from her neighbors and the police. The woman cleaning up the house you see behind me says she knows the home is being burglarized. But fortunately, neighbors are stepping in to help out. Kimberly Garlinghouse first thought she was misplacing things, but that soon changed. There have been things missing, like some very personal items, um, art supplies, um, a three-foot tall makeup case that was hanging on my bathroom door. Kimberly's friend, Brandy McKinney, also moved into the home to help Kim clean and says she has had property go missing as well. She is worried the suspected burglar might come back for items she needs to make a living. It scares me to death that some of my, my personal photography equipment could be stolen along with some of the personal items that have been stolen. Kim thinks she knows how the burglar is getting inside her home. There's no sign of forced entry. I'm thinking what's happening is the garage door doesn't shut all the way, but it is stacked floor to ceiling with stuff. So I didn't think anybody could climb over, but apparently that's how they had figured out how to get in. Fortunately, after learning about the situation, neighbors have stepped up by keeping an eye on the house while Kim and Brandy are at work. Neighbors also have security cameras pointed at the house, and Kim and Brandy will be reviewing footage to help police. In the meantime, Kim has a message for whoever is helping themselves at her home. If everything comes back, uh, no questions asked, no harm, no foul. But if I find out who you are, and I will, I will press charges to the fullest extent of the law. Kim also says that while she hasn't filed a police report just yet, she'll be doing so after work. In Odessa, Mike Mahoney, ABC Big 2 News.